good Monday. It is May the 20th and it is five o'clock. We're gonna get started. So, may adjust the camera a touch before the next video. We do have a schedule lock from 6.30 to 7.30 and 7.30 will probably be the end so we can come home and do a video. And it is hotter than a mother trucker. It is 100 degrees, so says the car. That's probably not the temperature. Let's see what the weatherman says. He says 98. And my car is sitting in the shade and it says 100. So we're going to get started here. I want to thank everyone who has recently subscribed. We're at 788 subscribers. So we're getting there. We thank you all immensely. I um, hope you're all doing well. Hope you all made lots of money today. We are sure going to try to see what we can do today, y'all, this morning. So I haven't been able to get into my Delivered account. <coughs> Every time I would sign in, it would say invalid credentials. No idea what the credentials are. Um, I was told they reset it. Still couldn't get in. Um, the crazy thing is, is that they're on the East Coast. We're Central Standard Time. And so I had to, yeah. So we got on, I got on the chat with them finally. They finally got me in my account. Y'all, I missed a $200. $200. Catering for tonight. Yeah. So irritated. But now we're in, we got it situated, and hopefully we will, I wrote everything down so that hopefully um, <laughs> I'll be able to get in if I get locked out of it again. So, that is where that stands. So, we're going to go see how much money we can make without the catering order. But that's okay. Things happen. But we got it fixed. That's the biggest thing. We got it fixed. So, let's head into town and see what kind of offers we can get. So, I want to thank you all again. And we'll see you in a few. Alright guys, so we got our first offer and it is a shopping order. It is to CVS, which is like my least favorite store. And especially this one because it's ew, gross. Um, however, it is two items, five count, so whatever. 2.7 miles for $14.39. And this is on Mr. Grubby. So we're gonna go pick this up and I will see you hopefully at the drop off. It goes to the courtyard by Marriott downtown. So we'll go see. Sometimes that one's wonky, but let's go get this shopped and I'll see you in a moment. All right guys, we're gonna see how this goes because two of her items they did not, well actually I had to substitute one item so it was four waters, sparkling waters, and wart removal kit. So we had to um, substitute the one she wanted for the store brand. Then they only had two bottles of the water that she wanted, and it was in a wonky place. It wasn't with the regular waters, it was with a whole bunch of other weird stuff. So I don't know. We are going to go try to deliver this to this lady and we'll see <clears throat> what our total ends up being because I don't know how they do if you're missing stuff. I hope that dude doesn't like, he's in a wheelchair, like an electric wheelchair and the curb is like all wonky. thought he was going to fall out of the chair. So let's go get this delivered. and make it to the room.
Nope. I mean, I'm here. However. Thank you. <laughs> Are you going up? Do you mind if I go up with you? I trust you. I just got to deliver this Grubhub order, so to the sixth floor. Six? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that they went. I know. I don't know. The elevator goes, so. I don't know why they do that. And it's annoying. Yeah. But. I guess we're shady characters. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I greatly appreciate it. Right, so <laughs> I'm just gonna go drop it off and I'm leaving. Yeah, don't make me an accomplice to anything. No, no worry. I have a camera, so we're good. <laughs> Thank you too. Well, she thought we were gonna get up here, but Thank you to the nice man that let us in. At least now, you can go back down. You can go down, you just can't go up. There's this one and there's like another hotel. That's the same way. So you can go downstairs, you just can't go upstairs. So, and then I think y'all saw the ceiling. I apologize. today all right guys so I will tell you that on the CVS shop we got the whole pay um, they didn't like subtract anything because we only had two of the waters so everything was the way it was it, there, it did have a six dollar tip on it so we just got this offer it's two orders big deal 7.3 miles for $18.60 going to Applebee's. So it shows that it will not be ready for 30 minutes. Now, what in the heck fire is that? I mean, really? Holy rotten guacamole. We, I don't know why you would give someone an order to pick up in 30 minutes. But I'm going to go two Applebee's we will go I'll go in I probably won't take you because I mean I'm maybe waiting a while and um, but we'll go get these what's really weird is I don't, must be all drop off at the same place because I only show one little house like where the drop off would be come on bokies so, we'll see you at the drop-off. Okay, this is weird. It's like a double order for the same person. So, they ordered two burgers and a brownie. Right? Yeah. On both of their orders. So, they told me probably about seven more minutes. So, we'll go in there about ten after or so so they are all going to the same house so that works out perfect and it helps us we're getting some decent orders we are in the pro level on grubhub but we did 
So we're doing a schedule today and a schedule tomorrow. So hopefully those schedules will help offset the two that we missed from the other day. So yeah, so much fun. Here we are. So we will be back as soon as we get these burgers and brownies and we'll see you at the drop off. All right guys, well she was standing out front, very nice lady. Uh, apparently people can't figure out where their house is but she was that's why she was standing outside and I have delivered there many times but the GPS once again tells you to turn on the street right before and then go down the alley and deliver it in the back side of the house so luckily we know better than to go down the alley um, I think that's what happens a lot <clears throat> with people not being able to find houses or whatnot. One, they're not looking because those people have like the little block on the house that says 3900 and the street name. <coughs> so if you can't figure that out, you're an idiot. I mean, I get it when it's dark, it's different, but yeah. But she's very, very nice. Um, so now we're just gonna go back up here and see if we'll get an order. So we are currently in our one hour block of time from 6.30 to 7.30. So we'll see if we get something. We'll see you back when we do. All right, we kinda had to fix the sunshade thing, the sun visor. So, um, they are trying to get a loan at the bank <laughs> to pay for this air conditioner. And I mean, we have money set aside that we are going to give them for their wedding, but they may be getting their wedding present early so they can pay for an air conditioner. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was trying to wait an, about a month before I, um, jumped into that one that's the was the plan anyway so I mean we do have a couple portable air conditioning units that you you know um, vent out the window so they're at her parents or her dad's um, right now so um, he said it's not too bad at night but dude it's 90 <laughs> it's 93 degrees right now and it's you know, it was almost a hundred today. So hopefully, um, if nothing else, they can at least come get one of these units to where their, you know, room wouldn't be so hot. Um, cause they worked for us, um, all of last year. It wasn't, you know, wasn't the best, but believe me, it could have been way worse. And actually we have two of those units because we had ours and then we had one for um, the guy that was living with us so yeah so let's go pick this up and I'll see you at the drop-off since it's never ready but thanks for being here if you're new to the channel I would appreciate it if you would subscribe like comment I um, hope you enjoy the video it's gonna be kind of a boring one today because <laughs> I mean, I was only planning on being out another, um, like, 30 minutes. This car better slow down. I can't help it. There's, like, traffic cones in the road. So, I um, was planning on only staying out till about 7.30. Because I really want to try to get a couple things done at home. Got all my extra projects done. Um, made t-shirts for someone and made a cheesecake yesterday and yeah so if you are interested we would love for you to join our membership and looks like we may i don't know maybe i'll put our you know like when i stay home and do things um you know kind of like an at home blog or whatever may put some of those videos on there too so if you're interested in you know some of the recipes that I make um, hopefully the guy likes his cheesecake since he paid good money for it 
so that's the one thing as I mean I do make you know snacks cookies cakes pies all those things for people um, as well as all the crafty stuff so we'd appreciate if you join our members we currently have four would love to see more I am working on a members only sticker and shirt so stay tuned those are coming and if you have not already sent me your shirt size and your mailing address please do so and I'm hoping to get those done by mid June since our bicycle ride is coming up so please help us out there too if you want to donate click on the link to donate and we would greatly appreciate it so we will see you oh he's gonna go get somebody appreciate it we will see you at the drop off guys this freaking house is out in the boom neighborhood was out here all right let's go see what else we can get well guys it is 745 and we're done and we made 46 dollars and 15 cents in two hours and 45 minutes which is 16 dollars and 78 cents an hour which pretty much sucks it's definitely less than our um dude's on a bicycle idiot um with a motor and then he's now he's in the fuck you dude i mean you're the one that's in the freaking ass road and you just stopped then you're yelling at us you idiot man definitely less than our $20 an hour that we like but it is money to start the week off with hopefully the rest of the week will be better we got one order so we got the double order before our scheduled excuse me our scheduled time started and we got the last one halfway into it so it started at 6 30 so we got that order about 7 delivered it back into town at 7 45 and didn't get anything so we're turning it off we're headed home people are about to irritate the fire out of me today Especially that jack wagon on a bicycle that he put on put a tiny motor on it it goes in between all the cars and then he just stops in the middle of the road and I'm trying to not hit him and he's screaming at me and he has a damn cigar in his mouth you dumb jackass I don't understand people people are dumb so Oh well. It is what it is. I want to thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. And we will see you back here tomorrow for our schedule time. Tomorrow is... Let me tell you what it is. Tomorrow's from 6 to 7. So hopefully we will do a little bit better. But you know, hey. We... So we made 21.18 in delivery pay and $24.97 in tips that's a little oddball but okay you know that does I'm hoping that helps us it'll help us I don't know tomorrow 
maybe. I don't know when that that schedule should start. I don't know. I never know this thing. It's craziness. So. So, I mean, we're not in the bargain basement section. Um, <laughs> we're not in the partner level, okay? We're in the pro level at 80%, but we got to get to 95% to get back in the premiere, which hopefully we'll have that schedule tomorrow. And hopefully today's schedule helped us out. So... Hopefully, we'll get back into it by the end of this week and go from there. So, once again, I will say adieu. Thanks again for being here. Appreciate all of your support, and we will see you back at it tomorrow. Y'all have a good one.